iPad Pro, third generation and fourth generation, bring an entirely new experience to iPad. Earlier this year, Apple introduced the new iPad Pro fourth generation, which has some improvements with the magic keyboard, but not a lot has changed. We're gonna be using the 12.9 inch iPad Pro third generation for this video. But if you have the fourth generation iPad Pro, don't worry. Or if you have the fourth generation iPad Air, you can use it too. So in this video, we'll be talking about an important accessory for iPad, iPad keyboards. Earlier, we talked about this magical device called Apple Pencil, which automatically pairs. So let's walk through Smart Keyboard Folio. Why is it called Smart Keyboard Folio rather than just Smart Keyboard? Well, that's because it covers the entire iPad. Magic Keyboard does much of the same thing, but it has a cantilever design, an extra USB-C port for pass-through charging, and a trackpad and a new keyboard mechanism. Let's look, take a look at our Smart Keyboard Folio that we'll be using for today's video. In this video, we'll be talking about some keyboard shortcuts as well. So. Let's get started. This is Smart Keyboard Folio. An amazing space gray color. These three pins here, if you're wondering where they go on the iPad, you can obviously see right there, magnetically attaching. There's a tiny hole for the camera. If you have a fourth generation iPad Pro, this Smart Keyboard Folio isn't for you, but there's a very similar smart keyboard folio made for fourth generation iPad Pros. So, we can see our wonderful keyboard and two magnetic attachments where we can attach our iPad. So, let's get the magic going. We're going to need our iPad now, and we're going to need to put it on the stand. However, that's not done. We need to attach it right here so these pins right here, line up, and then magically it attaches. What's great about Smart Keyboard Folio is it, it doesn't need to be charged. It uses the iPad's power, even though it doesn't use that much power at all. Let's take a look at some keyboard shortcuts. So, if you're used to Windows, Command is your replacement for Control. Command is centri lo centrally located, so it's easy to use. Let's go through a few. Command tab, an easy way to switch through your apps. Command spacebar, a great way to do spotlight search, which you might have known from Mac. And in iPadOS 14, there's a great new update, which allows spotlight search to be more helpful for you. We can do command C to copy something. Command A to select all. We can do command V to paste and command X to delete and copy, also known as cutting. So those are the few, a few great shortcuts that get, get you started. To log into iPad, you will just need to press the space bar and you can already start to use your smart keyboard folio with face ID. Or if you're on an iPad Air fourth generation, the simple touch ID right on the switch, right on the side. So that's the basics of Smart Keyboard Folio. Let's take a look on the other side just so we can get a full view. Take a side angle. And one more feature I forgot to mention. iPad Pro has two modes. There's this mode, which is great for kicking back and watching some movies. When you're doing some professional work, this is really great. You can also type in your password right with your keys, right here. This is great. If you're wondering where the function key row is, there's no function key row for Smart Keyboard Folio and iPad keyboards because there's no need. Obviously, with the control center being so easily to access. Perfect. Let's look at the back. As we can see, there's still space for your Apple Pencil to charge, so don't worry that the Smart Keyboard Folio will not affect it. 
and full protection. So on the earlier smart keyboard generations, it only magnetically attached to the bottom, which is still a great place to put smart keyboard folio. But Apple decided to cover your whole iPad to prevent damage. So this is smart keyboard folio. And these keyboard shortcuts can be used in almost anything. So get started using your new iPad keyboard.